look like some vomit. Ah! Somebody get his ass up. Ah! Ambulance pick his ass up. He's dead on a white road. There's no point no of trying to. What's going on there, YouTube? The Twisted 420 has returned. That's right, people. We are back. And I'm a little late on this product, but I was waiting to get the RBA rebuildable thingy that goes into it and do the... It's a whole thing. Never mind any of that, people. We're back with the review. And it feels good. It feels good. And I got a haircut. I feel much better about that. Anyway. Live stream coming tomorrow too. We're gonna have my buddy Mr. Just Right One, aka Joel, on there. It's gonna be fun. Make sure to tune in tomorrow. But for right now, for right now, what we're gonna take a look at today, people, is the Geek Vape Agus Boost. That's right, people. The Geek Vape Agus Boost. Now I'm a little late on this one. I've had it for about a month, but I was waiting on the RBA. Ends up I had it already. I didn't think I got it already, and it was in a box that I did. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. We're not going to go into it. But yes, the Agus Boost, many of you, I'm sure, have already familiar. Many of you are already familiar with this device. Okay, so I won't bore you with the details, but I will. This is a 1500 milliamp hour, 3.7 mil capacity, 0.4 and 0.6 ohm mesh coil having little IP67 40 watt pod device kind of thing that has a rebuildable atomizer that we're going to show you in a little bit. Um, and it was sent over, uh, it comes in a bunch of colors, oh, fuck, I almost messed up the order, it comes in a lot of different finishes, and it was sent over from myvpro.com, shout out to the homies at myvpro.com, where it sells for $36.99, okay, so you're getting a good bit, bit of bang for your buck, this stuff, the thing has some stuff going on, we're gonna talk about it, we're gonna discuss it, and we're gonna share my opinion on it, I'm still not sure if I wanna do a build montage for this little bitty deck, but we might. I'm still not 100%. We'll see. But yes, my VPro sent this over. I've been vaping on it. And I gotta say, either way you go, RBA mesh coils, it's pretty nifty. Let me have a toke real quick while we're sitting here talking. Putting out like a champion. Putting out like a champion, people. But let's go ahead and break this down. Let's get to the nitty gritty. And first and foremost, we gotta talk about packaging, people. We must discuss packaging. You open this bad boy up, you're gonna have your little pod mod dude chilling in here, okay? And then you're gonna have a little black box full of goodies. All right, so if you open this bad boy up, you're gonna have a few things like your micro USB charging cable and a little tool that you use to get your coils out, kind of an inconvenience, we'll talk more about that later, and an extra coil, okay? All those things are good. And as far as a little RBA, you know, you buy it separate, comes in this little own package. Um, you got your RBA in there chilling, right? But then you also get a tool, some extra set screws, cotton and uh, some coils to put in this bad boy so very nice pretty good pretty good amount of stuff coming in there pretty good amount of stuff so that's packaging people those are all the packaging contents to give you a better idea of what you're working with when you open one of these bad boys up and now we can move on to discussing stuff and the first thing I want to start with is up top on the uh, pod section here you got removable tips one of them's a little bit more open one of them's a little bit more narrow but yeah, you can swap those out depending on if you want to go mouth to lung or direct lung. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And then this pod itself is pretty interesting. You press a little button on the back to pop it out. You got some connections down off in there and everything. Pretty standard. But then these coils are wedged in here in such a way, you got to use this little tool they included to get them out. Now, I'm not a big fan of that. I find it to be an inconvenience, especially if you lose the tool. You can always get some pliers or something, I guess, to get it out. But those things are in there good. I guess they're doing that for leaking or something else. I don't know, but it is an inconvenience, okay? One of the only inconveniences that this vice uh, has going on. But anyway, moving right along, that's how you pop your coil out, get them in and out, little mesh coils, cool. You also have a little plug up top, top field, basically. A little plug you pop open and you slosh some juice off in there. 3.7 mil capacity, people. That's pretty good. That's nothing to scoff at. And this is all set up pretty unique. I like this push button situation on the back because this thing is not going to come out on accident. You go to grab it out of your pocket, it's not going to slide out. You have to press this button and pop the pod out. I kind of respect it, all right? I kind of respect it. Moving right along, this couldn't be an Agus unless it had some fucking black leather with orange stitching on the back of it, of course, people. Looking good, looking good. On the side, you got your little micro USB port plug. You pop that open plug it up to charge it, so forth and so on. This is a built-in battery device, all right? Moving around front, five clicks on, and bam, we got a screen, people. You got a little button, you turn this thing up and down, goes up to 40 watts and down to five watts. 
and it's got a little battery monitor tells you your resistance your wattage what more do you want from this little baby screen you know what i mean what more do you want from it i don't know what else i don't know what else you would want from it pretty simple though pretty simple a lot of these little guys have been having screens lately and ironically going up to 40 watts seems to be a trend but one thing i missed on the tank is the adjustable airflow very nice little dial very easy to adjust and very plentiful airflow i like the airflow adjustment on the front and the top fill on the top pretty cool stuff you don't have to take it out to adjust the airflow like on a lot of these other ones okay so yeah there's all that stuff okay and damn it do we want to do a build montage first let me show you this little guy you unscrew the cap you got a very simple little deck and you go you know what screw it screw it let's roll that beautiful bean footage That might be one of the shortest build montages ever, but hey, it's a build montage nonetheless. I like doing them, they're fun. But anyway, we've discussed all the things, showed you some stuff. You see how you rebuild the little bitty rebuildable little kitty guy. It comes with some good extras. Now the main question is, twisted, how does it vape? Now I'm gonna start with what I have in here at the moment. That's these mesh coils. These mesh coils are doing good. I got the bigger tip on, I got the .4 in, and it's rocking out. Now, right now, I've got it at 30 watts. I'm going to bump it up to 35. See how she likes it. Man, these little fucking things are starting to put out big time. Look at those thick, dense, milky clouds at 35 watts on this little, fuck me, on this little pre-filled fucking little pod dude, man. It's pretty impressive. It's pretty impressive that they're getting stuff that vapes this good into this small of a footprint nowadays. Okay, all right. These, they vape great. Capacity is good, top feels good, airflow's good, and the coils have great flavor. Really, really nice little pod mod dude right here. But let's go ahead and pop it out. We must grab our RBA. Pop it in. New coil, it read it. 0.48 is what the single coil, the thicker Clapton coil came out to. I didn't use the little ones at all. And um, yeah, we're gonna rock it 35 watts right here. Fuck it. Ooh, 35 might be a bit much for this setting. For this uh, little RBA, let's bump it back down to 30. Putting out like a champion airflow wide open. We're at 30 watts, 0.48 ohm. Flavors coming through loud and clear. I got some of that blueberry cronuts in here. And it's it's just like a little little RTA or little RDA, man. Keyword is little. The airflow is better on the pods with the mesh than it is on this guy because you got more shit taking up chamber space. Uh, but still really really true flavor warm 30 watts it's great vaping like a champion man vaping like a champion so overall i gotta say this thing let's see pros and cons okay pros size looks features everything's great very unique with the pod. They didn't just do an off the shelf regular pod. This is a unique ass pod from the press and the button to the top field to the airflow dial. Very unique, I like it. Really, honestly, the, the mesh coils, the RBA, I like all of it. I like everything about this whole little situation, the footprint, the IP67 resistance, all that's great. I only have two little complaints if I'm being completely honest. 
I know it costs more and I know it's not as standard as everyone, as I would like to think, but I still prefer USB-C versus micro USB. There, I said it, okay? They might have done micro USB just because it's a, a stronger hold point. Like they don't come loose as easy as USB-Cs and many others, but um, I still would have preferred USB-C. Not a big thing, just a little minor gripe. And the second thing is the tool to get those coils out. You're gonna need it. The fucking coils are in there. Okay, you got to get that tool. You lose that tool, you got to get some pliers or something. It might not be ideal. So I don't like the I don't like that you have to have a little proprietary tool to get the coils out. You probably won't be doing it that often. I don't know longevity exactly. I'm only been vaping on in a few weeks, but I will say the coil the coil tool is an inconvenience. But those two little things, besides that, everything else about this thing is awesome sauce. Geekvape did good, and they continue to do good. Let me swap back to the pod. They continue to do good, and I gotta say, I support this little Agus Boost. I'm sorry I was late to the party, but um, yeah, it still rocks. It still rocks. It's a very good little device. So there we go, people. There we go. Just vaping, clouding on something really tiny, and overall, I really like this. I really like this. Shout out to my V Pro for sending it over. Go check out their website if you want to pick one up. I think the price is good. I think the features are good. I think it vapes good. And that, my friends. It's what I have for you, okay? So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I truly do appreciate it. You know what I mean? It's great. Thank you for tuning in. I know YouTube don't want you to see all my shit sometimes, but come search me. Look for your boy. I'm steady putting up videos. We ain't going nowhere. We out here. Secondly, remember, it doesn't matter what the fuck you're vaping on. As long as you're not on the gosh darn stinkies. That's what's important, people. That's what's truly important. And last but not least... <laughs> you stay sexy, YouTube. From bubbles and twist it. <laughs> so you not from over there, what? but you over there, you getting whack, it will fuck you low. I done turned to the same with the shit I got dope. All I hate with is cause I ain't never got caught. Vaping saves more lives than our reptilian overlords.